What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you today with a two-part, well, two videos on uh, two items that arrived back from grading, and they are pretty in fuego. That is Spanish for on fire, for those of you who are not familiar. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I've got two items. One of them's modern, one of them's vintage, and so I thought I'd split them into two parts here, and here is the first item, and what a beauty it is. This is a 21 back A, R5D4. Uh, just an absolutely gorgeous card. It's my first 21 back. It's really my first anything card back other than Tri Logos or Return of the Jedi or Empire Strikes Back. But this is a, a beautiful item that uh, I found ungraded. And um, <clears throat> it's just amazing. What a, what a beautiful piece of card art there. It's got the Jawas, it's got R5-D4, along with Luke looking over him, at, over at Uncle Owen's, is it Owen? Uncle Owen's uh, farmstead, as he's debating on purchasing it. Uh, but a, a beautiful, a beautiful card. Um, just really, really nice. I'm going to get him out of, out of the poly bag here in a second. But what I liked about this one, you can see the sticker right there. Um, we'll take a closer look at that in a second. But... <clears throat> I mean, how often do you find a night? This is a 1979 card back, 21 back A. How often do you find one of these ungraded in this kind of condition? Uh, the statement of archivals on the back here. So bear with me. Let me go ahead and get it open here instead of beating around the bush. But you don't find these 21 backs. They're either really beat up or they are um, already graded. You know, just, I mean, it's been, been around for 41 years, but this one was ungraded. And uh, the seller told me the story about it. Here he is. Just beautiful. Look at that beautiful crystal clear bubble. Um, <clears throat> the seller said that his mother back in 1979 bought two of each. One of them to open so he could play with it. And the other one, along with a bunch of others, uh, she stored in a closet. And they've been sitting there for 40 plus years. They just found them and they decided to sell them. You never know if someone's feeding you a load, a load of poodle, but, uh, you know, I, I took a risk on it. It was a risk because it was ungraded. So you never know if it's a recard or a fake or whatever, but everything told me it was real. Uh, it has, uh, let's see if I can catch it in the light here. You can see there it's got the, the waffle there, right? That's a good angle there, but you can kind of see the waffle pattern around the bubble. Uh, it's not so much of a waffle, but you know, it's, it's, it's there. If you look at it closely, you can see it's definitely not a recard. And the, the figure's absolutely dead mint. I mean, just gorgeous. What's cool about it is it does have the original price sticker on it. There are people out there, believe it or not, that if you send them a vintage item like this, they will take the sticker off. They charge you a fee, and they will carefully take the sticker off. I did not... I don't think that this item warranted that, but, you know, my friend had a square card Meccano Luke Farm Boy French card, and, you know, it's a $10,000 item. And so, yeah, he's like, you, you best, and it had, a, it had a very pronounced sticker, a French sticker in the upper left, uh, excuse me, upper right corner. And he, he sent it to this guy and the guy took it off for a hundred bucks. And, uh, you know, I can see it making sense for something like that, but it's just so risky, I would think. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend that kind of money or risk damaging the bubble, but I, it's kind of cool that the sticker's on the bubble. You can see there where it's originally listed for 257 from a store called Key, I guess, unless Key just stands for the key code. But um, absolutely gorgeous. Here's the back. Now that we got the statement of archival out, let's take a look at the back. Look how beautiful those colors are. I mean, this thing looks like it has been in a time capsule. A time capsule. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, you can see down here where it's got... I, I double-checked this card versus uh, Jedi Temple Archives to make sure that it was legitimate. But it's got the original 1977 trademark from 20th Century Fox. And then this is the one I was looking for is down here, the 1979, to make sure it was legit. Made in Hong Kong. But what a gorgeous card back. I mean, this thing is just, it looks case fresh. Absolutely case fresh. And the scores reflect that. I was thinking it was going to, at a minimum, going to get an 80 plus, but it did get an 85. Uh, the card, the bubble, and the figure, blister, and the figure all got an 85. It came back with an 86.9 overall. An 85 score. So, I mean, I mean, just a beautiful flat card. This is, you know, uh, easily my best card. I don't have a lot of mint on card figures. That's, of course, changing here soon. But uh, <clears throat> you could not have asked for a, 
a more beautiful figure. The only flaw that I found when I got it was down here. There's that little couple of little tiny nicks and that's it. Those are not holes. They're just kind of dings, but they're so minuscule. I mean, the, the camera's making it sound like, or making it look like it's a lot worse than it is. But I mean, it's just, this thing is pristine, absolutely pristine. So uh, a beautiful item and it was just graded by Collector Archive Services. Uh, here's the sheet on it. It was graded uh, on the 23rd. I did get the museum uh, case type. It's a little bit more expensive. That, that's equivalent to the archival case from AFA. I was thinking, you know, because this is such a white figure, um, you know, and because the, um, you know, the card back is so old and everything, I went ahead and got it upgraded. I just didn't want to risk the, the bubble getting yellowed over time. So this is the, what's called the museum casing style. I've only got one other item that is museum casing style. I've got a bunch of archival cases from AFA, but in terms of CAS, to my knowledge, I've only got a couple of museum cases, maybe three, actually. I've got a, a Polish bootleg Boba Fett that has the museum case. I've got this one. And then I think I also did my PBP YPS Spanish Stormtrooper, just given that it's all white. You know, I, I think I got the museum case for that. But anyway, long story short is, I, you know, I, I, I wanted to give this the upgraded case. Uh, this is a suggestion to AF, or excuse me, to uh, Collector Archive Services. AFA typically adds archival, like a little archival sticker. I would recommend Anthony or uh, Chris, if you guys are watching this, I would recommend that you guys tell Ross Barr or Ken to add some kind of museum, you know, maybe underneath the R5D4 or somewhere, somewhere maybe next to the score, like an M or a museum. So people know that this is the upgraded case without having to look at the statement of archival. That's my, you know, my personal opinion. This is my, that's my, my, my consulting that I'm consulting you guys on that. So uh, I'll charge you guys a consulting fee in terms of grading gift cards, but I'm, I'm only kidding. But it, it, that, I think that that would be something that you, that I would recommend you guys do uh, just so people know that it does have the archival or museum style case, but man, what, what a gorgeous item. I'm so happy with it. I cannot believe I found this, you know, it wasn't cheap. It was not cheap, but if you look at where a, uh, AFA or CAS 85 grade 21 back R5 D4 sell on the market today, I'm, I'm not talking about listed. I'm talking about sold prices. I got this for about 40% off of that, including the grading cost. So, you know, it was a great purchase. It was not, um, <clears throat> it was, it was not without risks though. I mean, you know, these, these, this is something that is, it could be faked. And so I did, I did roll the dice a little bit that it was a, a real authentic, uh, item, but I did my research and I, I did consult several collectors before I pulled the trigger on it and they all said, yeah, it looks good. And and then even after the fact, my friends were freaking me out a little bit, saying, I don't know, man. But I, I did have uh, my buddy Chris had a couple of his friends take a look at it, and they said it, it, everything looked kosher, and it was. So just a beautiful item. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, again, I'll do one more shot of the back. I mean, look how beautiful the, and crisp those colors are, and there's no fading at all. So this thing was just in a time capsule, and uh, just, just amazing, amazing item. So I... My hope is that I get a few more 21, 20 and 21 backs here over the coming months just to, to kind of make sure this guy's not lonely. But uh, uh, really, really beautiful, beautiful item. Um, that's all I really had with this one. I hope you enjoyed looking at it. As per usual, I will include the uh, Collector Archive Services photos from grading uh, at the end of this video so you all can enjoy some of those photos. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.